What's up YouTube? Will here from Psychonaut Vision signing back in once again coming at you guys with another video today talking about my first ever mushroom trip, my first ever psychedelic experience. I'm going to be talking about what prompted me to get into mushrooms, I'm going to be talking about the trip and how I felt after, things like that. So basically at the time I was in this big party phase, I was really into smoking, I was really into drinking, I was really into parties and eventually I stumbled across a video on YouTube about a guy tripping on magic mushrooms. I decided to watch the video. He seemed really happy, really genuine during the trip. And it led me to doing even more research on mushrooms in particular. When seeing some of the positive benefits, I saw that it actually treated people's PTSD, anxiety, and depression. And I was really interested. I was fascinated and I was thinking, I kind of want to try this. So I told Alex about it and he too was thinking about tripping as well. And so we decided to start a search for magic mushrooms to see if someone had them and we could buy off of someone. And eventually we did, it took a while, but eventually we got some off of the person and we were going to have a trip where I tripped, Alex tripped and our other friend tripped. But eventually Alex decided not to because he was going through some personal problems. So we completely understood and he ended up being our trip sitter and our other friend along with us who I'll call John for the sake of this video tripped with us. The couple weeks leading up to the trip, I was really excited. I was looking forward to it every day. I was counting down the days and I was looking forward to it, but from a different way. Before I tried psychedelics, I was thinking, oh, I was going to be happy for a few hours and I was going to be high. I always wanted to chase that high. That's, that's the one thing you guys should know is that's what basically led me to start wanting to get into tripping was I was wanting to chase that high. But eventually I wake up on the day we were tripping and Alex comes and picks me up and then we go and we take the mushrooms. It was two grams of mushrooms and we were just sitting in Alex's car waiting for the shrimps to kick in. We were listening to music and just talking and trying to keep the positive vibe going to make sure that we did not fall on a negative thought train. And eventually I noticed something about my visual effect, but I didn't even assume that it was because I was high and I was tripping on mushrooms. I just saw something and was like, the ground is swirling. And when I said that, both of my friends laughed and I immediately knew, okay, this is partly an effect. Like I'm starting to trip a little bit. I looked down at my shoes, which were a tan like color. And they were like this pitch white type of color. And I was so like, taken back by it and it was just amazing the saturated colors everywhere around me was just saturated with green the blue sky and then what we were going to plan on doing was getting up and going for a walk and so that's what we did but when i got out of the car man i just felt like this entire world just opened up to me and i was like so small and just being like a spectator of this giant world that we were living in we go on a walk and like i said the green was so saturated in the grass and also the path we were walking on it was like this gravel path and it looked like really blue to me. It was so blue and it, it just, it looked like cartoonish. It was so amazing to me at first. And first thing that we did when we got out of the car though was that Alex had to go to the bathroom. So we went to the bathroom and as we were waiting outside with him, he was messing with us, making these strange noises and we were just laughing. And because we were on shrooms and tripping, it just felt so awkward when people were walking by. We couldn't help but laugh when Alex was making these noises. And it was pretty funny. But eventually when he got out, we kept walking and I could not help but just start shivering. I felt so freezing cold. It was a winter day, but it's in California. So it was probably around 55 degrees or something like that. It was sometime early in the morning, probably about eight in the morning. And I and our friend John were just freezing cold. Like we didn't, I had a jacket, but I didn't have any like hoodie or sweatshirt. I just had a jacket and a pair of jeans. And I was like, man, I could really use another jacket right about now. But if you guys didn't know, that is a big part of the come up when you're tripping on mushrooms and psychedelics in general. And I expected this when I looked it up, I understood that this was a part of it. So I kind of just really took it as something that was natural. But we keep going down this path and eventually we get to this point where there are like, I swear 30 geese, 35 geese passing by us at once. And I couldn't help but say, man, I feel like we're in a zoo right now. Like it, it felt like we were in literally a zoo. All these animals were passing by us and it was really cool. It was awesome, but it was so loud. Like the the noises that they were making were just like like a surround sound just traveling all over and echoing and it was just like really trippy but as we keep walking we get to this one point and i just remember seeing this trail and it was just us three standing there no one was in sight at this point and i was just so in awe of nature and i was like man this is something that i really don't take the time of day to appreciate we have all these other world problems going on we have all this stuff going on in our lives but we never are able to just focus on what's really here and what is out there. And this is really something that I realized during this time. Keep in mind, this trip was in January of 2019. So it's almost been two years since this trip. But as we keep walking, we get to this one point where there's like this hill. And I swear this hill looked straight vertical. Like it felt like I was walking straight up or rock climbing or something. And it was so trippy. But eventually we get to this point where we're at a swing and we stop there. And I wasn't in very good shape at this time. So afterwards I'm like, <sighs> <sighs> You know, and uh, we get to the swing 
And uh, we're sitting there, we're, we're on the swing for a few minutes. I didn't even want to go on the swing. I was too paranoid that I would fall off and get injured or something like that. But I was watching my friends go on the swing for a little bit, seeing these like plants in the ground, almost breathing in and breathing out at me. And it was just this sense of nostalgia and euphoria. I remember thinking back to my memories and as a kid when I would play baseball or I had the fifth grade camp and I was just thinking of these memories that I had never thought about since they happened or had rarely thought about. When we went to finish up the trail, it was basically opposite views on both sides of us. On the right side, it was a view of society. It was a view of buildings and gas stations. And it just gave off this depressing feeling in me. And then when I looked to the left, there was this gorgeous view of a mountain nearby where we live. And because it was the winter time and there weren't leaves on any of the trees, it gave this clear view of it. And I just remember looking into it with just pure joy and bliss. And I felt very euphoric and this was a happy feeling throughout my body that just kind of kept going through the rest of the trip. Eventually we walked back to that swing we were at earlier. And I'm just thinking of these full philosophical ideas and our friend John also mentioned to me, it feels like we just went there in our mind and then came back. And now that makes zero sense to me. But during the trip, it was like, whoa, that made perfect sense to me. That connected exactly with what I was thinking. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard to remember a lot of things that happened during this trip, partly because it's been a while since it happened, but partly because you forget a lot about it after it happens. Eventually we walk up this hill and I'm saying a bunch of funny things and our friend John's saying a bunch of funny things. And we get to this bench overlooking these neighborhoods, these hills, a bunch of houses everywhere. And we we're listening to music. And my friend John definitely had a bit more of an experience during this point. I think this was his climax. At this point, I was already starting to come down a little bit, but I was just sort of reflecting on life about who I am. I was telling myself, man, I'm the man. Looking up into these hills and roads, you know, they were like curved and sloped. And it was just like this really trippy effect almost that I was seeing. And plus, with the added music on it, it just felt like a journey. And I just realized at that point, life is a journey. And this, and this is a part that I'll always have to look back on. But like I said, my appreciation for nature was just at an all time high during this trip. And then eventually when we left to go get something to eat, as we were driving by a bunch of the buildings and society in general, it just gave me this negative vibe. And it was like, man, society, it's just eh. the red colors on some of the buildings gave off a kind of a weird vibe to me. And through the come down, it was just kind of awkward. I didn't really like it all that much. I started feeling tired. And on top of that, this was at the end of our winter break. So it was only like a few days before our first day of school back. And, you know, the next few days afterwards, I was sitting there kind of feeling a little bit depressed, just like, man, we gotta go back to school after that amazing experience. See, I believe it was my first trip. So it's just something I look back on with nostalgia. The first couple of trips are just the sort of things that I just look back on and I'm able to reminisce and see how it opened up an entire new world in my mind. And the next trip, a couple months after that, we tripped with Alex as well. That too was an amazing nostalgic experience. And after these first couple of trips, I just felt like I was missing out on something my entire life. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know all these areas of my mind. I didn't know anything about nature and the beauty that is around us each and every day that we just ignore and pay no mind to. It really just opened up new worlds to me. And I'm so blessed to say that I've had that experience. And it ultimately led to me wanting to start a channel of my own and psychedelics be one of the main roots to that channel. And what really inspired me to do that, and not only that, but try psychedelics for the first time, was a YouTuber by the name of Your Mate Tom. And if you guys have not heard of him, then I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description, but he has a lot of great videos about psychedelics and he's a great YouTuber. So I highly advise you guys go check him out. And that's kind of what got me into psychedelics and YouTube as well. So that'll pretty much be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys have had any trips, then let me know down in the comments. And that'll be it. Will from Psychonaut Visions, signing out.